All right, we're back. So a couple more examples and a couple more uh, trials of working backwards when you're given the hypotenuse and one side and you're trying to find the unknown side. As always, the initial formula you're going to start with is the same a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay. Uh, first thing we do is we identify what we have, what we don't have, and then we manipulate the formula. As I stated before, I usually make the unknown, the side I don't have, the value of b. Uh, it's just a preference for me, just the way it's done, or the way I do it, actually. So first we identify what we have. I have C and I have A, okay? Now, having labeled C and A, what I do is now I manipulate the formula because I don't know the value of my B, okay? So we manipulate the formula. I need to find B, which means I need to subtract. I need to change this formula to state C squared minus A squared equals B squared. Simple manipulation of the formula. Okay. So you see the opposite. Now we plug in our known values for our unknown. Okay. So 5 squared minus 3 squared is going to equal B squared. Now we do the math. 5 squared is the same as saying minus 3 squared is the same as saying 9. When I do the math, 25 minus 9, it's going to give me 16. Someone want to remind me, how do I get rid of the squared? That's right, square root. All right. Now, finally, just tilt this a little so you can see the square root of 16 is going to give you B. All right, so that's the first example. Second example, quickly erase this, start a new problem. So what if I actually have 25 here, 24 there? Now I don't know this side, but like I said, when I use the formula, I still label that as my B. This one's still going to be my C, and this one's still going to be my A. Manipulate the formula first, as always. Okay. So we're going to have C squared minus A squared equals B squared. 25 squared minus 24 squared equals B squared. This is 625 minus 600. Okay, so we're still on track. Now, finally, we do the subtraction. Should have 25 left over. To get rid of the squared, we still use our square root. And for most of you that know it, so to complete our answer, that's the hypotenuse, and that's the side you're given. B is actually going to be worth five. Um, I may post another video with a couple more examples. Um, we'll see how it goes. But this is essentially what you do. You will be getting a few practice questions. I will say probably five. Uh, and then we're going to move on to finding the interior angles. Okay. Please make sure to check your stream to see what's coming up.